This is Twit. Hey, they got that artist working hard. <laughs> Hello. I know some of you remember the very first video game you finished. Mine was Super Mario Brothers. I was 11, but I can still hear that music and feel the controller in my hands. My best friend and I played every day after school for months, learning how to defeat each enemy, memorizing the timing and how to solve each puzzle. We basically created a study guide from what we were learning so that we could solve the last level. And what I can see now is that we were learning as we played. Now I think about this experience when I see students and educators using Minecraft in schools. We always Minecraft use that as an excuse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm learning. I'm Minecraft learning. Minecraft has over 100 million players worldwide. <laughs> Look at this collaboration. And today, just a few months after launching, I mean, Minecraft actually is very well suited to that. And I, and I watch our 14-year-old and his friends edition. spend hours Teachers building stuff. It's it is really Lego uh, for his generation. For Minecraft yes. In any lesson. In fact, one of the very first lessons shared with us and they, was from a teacher they, by the named way, Simon will in the often UK. collaborate. He was over using Skype the while they're Minecraft doing it. His middle school students. He asked them to create a Mars habitat in Minecraft. The students got started right away, planning what humans would need to survive on Mars. And like Matt Damon's character in The Martian, I think this is a really good example. Solving the problem of how to grow food in a Martian uh, landscape. Something and kids already love. Minecraft can be used to. When I visit classrooms like Simon's, of sugar. I see players debating, negotiating, and working together. Educators like Simon are amazed and encouraged by the level of student engagement when they use Minecraft and how it opens up creative exploration across the curriculum. So, how can Minecraft make a difference with computer science education? I first learned coding when I was nine and later was one of just two girls in my AP computer science class in high school. Actually, Chromebooks don't do all that well because uh, of their later, online. The way that we teach coding has barely changed, you know, and women make up less than 20% of professional software Windows engineers. Windows 10S would really be now, much better, like I think. Efforts like Code.org's Hour of Code and the USCSL initiative have made huge strides breaking down the barriers and showing the power of computing graphic. to solve problems. <laughs> and games I thought Space Invaders, <laughs> actually. <Yeah. laughs> the Minecraft Hour of Code tutorials on Code.org have passed over 50 million play sessions with students and of course, educators. You could do that on a world. Chromebook, but then, then you get so to a point where you want to start one of the actually coding team hears and, and you're kind of stymied because you can't get out of the browser. So, leaders to inject technology into their curriculum, specifically computer science Microsoft and could, coding. Good score a win. So, that's why today I'm proud to announce Code Builder for Minecraft Education there Edition. That's, that's something I'm sure you can't do in Chrome. Code Builder is a new Minecraft extension that lets players build, move around, and create in Minecraft right. by writing code. Love to see this available. Let me show you how it works. Too. You're going to write code today. Interesting to, to say which languages Mars. they Let's use. Start right. The Mars exploration right now, there's a Python API class. for Minecraft. Uh, We're going to enter Minecraft. right into the world, and you can see the habitat Raspberry Pi they comes with it, and, and their interpretation by of a Martian landscape. Once we go inside Minecraft, you can start Code Builder just by typing slash code. Wow. With that, you can connect to popular learn to code packages like Tinker and ScratchX from MIT, or you can even add your own service. Scratch is Today, great. Today, you're going to use Tinker, which Scratch has custom blocks and commands talk. that are connected to Minecraft. Now, Tinker back is, in Minecraft, uh, Mike Elgin's son, you're going to see uh, your agent for Tinker. or sidekick appears to execute it's the a, code that you, you write. You get it on iOS Students as well. Students really so. love the agent. It's a great way yeah. for them to get started and make that experience even more personal. It's, it's a point and click. In Tinker, kind of. you drag and drop blocks of code to create a tunnel program that moves the agent and digs down to discover what's beneath the surface. In this example, we're going to use the agent to dig a tunnel outside well, so that we're safe from the for, elements uh, on Mars. Home users. But Minecraft players great. out there can imagine dozens of uses for programming yeah. the agent like mining all night or building a lit path to your farm while you work on your house. Yeah. So here the agent's <laughs> gone to work running code, digging down and I identifying the resources that are underground. It's awesome. If you're more experienced, Strip if you're more mining experienced, automated. you can even switch from blocks to JavaScript and run code without the agent to go even faster. Using code escaping from district will be able nine. to create some really cool stuff. <laughs> and like my own experience with Super Mario here. Brothers, they'll be learning as they play.